Illinois GMA cover story. October is Bullying Awareness Month, and a new survey from the Choose Kindness Project finds that a third of teens say they've been bullied in the past year alone. Let's talk about it with our parenting expert, Rachel Simmons. Welcome back. You know, according to the survey, parents underestimate how common bullying is. So if a parent is concerned, what should they do? Well, if you're really concerned about bullying, you want to make sure that you act from a place of calm, not panic. Nothing good will come out of an angry phone call. You want to make sure when you talk to the school, you've interviewed your child first. Get the details from them about what is happening and be a partner to the school. You don't want to get pegged as that difficult parent. And then remember that before you make a phone call for anyone, you talk to your child first. Make sure it's okay with them. They're the one who's going to have to be at that school all day. Question is, how do you get your children to open up about it? Well, that's a really good question. We often really annoy our kids. We grill them, George, when they come home from school, and they're often tired, just like we are. So it's important to be creative with your kids. You know, ask them when they want to be talked to about what, what's going on at school. If they're online, send them a text. Ask them to send you a gift to tell you how your day, their day was. Write them a handwritten note, but remember, patience and timing are everything. It's one thing if your kid is being bullied. It's quite another if your child is the one being accused of bullying. How do parents handle that? So true. You know, as parents, we want to see the best in our kids. We're often in denial about what they do. And it's important to remember a lot of kids who bully are very good at hiding it. So you have to remember to reach out to the parents, the teachers, the coaches who know your child. Ask for honest feedback. And just remember, once you know what your child is doing, you have to be clear about your family's values. You have to hold them to consistent consequences. That is critical. And we have to remember that our behavior influences our kids. We are the best teachers. If our kids see us gossiping, that's what they learn. If they see us using the silent treatment, that is what they learn. Modeling is everything. One of the hardest you know, paradoxes to get a handle on is that good parents can have good kids who bully. 100%. You know, kids research tells us bully for lots of reasons. It could be a problem in the home. They could be targeted themselves. We are not bad parents if our kids bully but we're not doing our job if we're in denial about what they do. The mark of a good parent is not going to be having a perfect child. It's the work that we put in to help them be the best kids that they can be. Important advice. Rachel Simmons, thanks very much.